All right, boys and girls, well, hope you've had a great day so far. Uh, so far today, we've read Bic. Uh We've also looked at our handwriting, where we did our usual handwriting, tracing, but we also had some coloring today. Uh, we also worked on some special sounds, and we actually did this together. So hopefully you were able to work on that with us and had done this last week. So those were a few things we've done today. Not sure what time you're looking at this video, but if you're looking at it on Tuesday in the morning, um, today is the day at 1 o'clock we're going to try a Zoom meeting. And if mom and dad are available to help you with that, um, I sent them the information and I thought it'd be just a fun time to get everybody together on video. We can talk, have a little show and tell, uh, just chat and catch up with each other because I know how much I miss you and I know you're missing your friends too. So if you can do that, it's Tuesday, March 31st at 1 o'clock. And if mom and dad have that information, um, they can set you up. And if they can't, that's okay. We'll do it another time. So if mom and dad are busy um, working and doing things that just not able to do it on Tuesday, boys and girls, that's okay. I promise we'll do it again. So be super helpful and patient with mommy and daddy, okay? I hope you're giving them extra love and being uh, super helpful with them as you're working on your schoolwork at home. All right, well, let's go ahead. Uh, we're looking at our math paper today. Uh, boys and girls, we're continuing working on several of the same skills. You guys should be doing a wonderful job. It's page 113, 114. And it's doing many of the things that we've done. First of all, of course, first and last name. I probably don't even need to tell you guys that. But just in case you forgot, we always write our first and last name neatly and that finger space. Remember, all these papers you're doing, mom and dad are going to give those back to me and I'll be looking at them. I'll be looking to make sure that you're writing neatly. I'll be making sure that you're putting your letters the correct way, your numbers the right way. So even though you're working at home, I want you still to do your best work. I want you to listen to mommy and daddy or brother, sister, whoever's helping you and do your best work. All right. Remember everything we do, we need to do to honor the Lord. And we want to work on our work just like we would if we were sitting at our table at school. All right, so do your very best. Now, when we start at the top, we see some gumball machines. Give me a thumbs up if you like gumballs. Yeah, a little piece of gum, sometimes fun to chew. There's different colors of gumballs in there. Can you tell me what's your favorite color of gumballs, if you got to choose? Let's see, got some people out there that like red, maybe? Yellow? Maybe some green? Blue, what's your favorite color? Oh, yeah, that sounds good. I probably would pick red. I like a lot of gumballs, but I'd probably pick red. And if you don't like them, that's okay, too. But I love to hear what your favorite is. All right, when we look at our gumball machines, boys and girls, we see that they have grouped them by uh, groups of 10. Remember, uh, 10 is one of the ways that we've learned to count. Uh, sometimes it's easier instead of counting one, two. By ones, it's easier to count by tens. Let's see if we can get our clapping hands out, and let's see if we can clap by tens. Remember, these are the days that Zero the Hero comes. He comes every, what is it? Every 10th day of school. Remember, those are school days. He comes every 10th day of school. And I know he's missing you, but excited that you're working at home. Very hard for mom and dad. Let's count by tens and let's clap at the same time. Are you ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. That's very good. Now this time we're going to clap. I'm going to keep my voice off and I want you to clap by tens. Are you ready? All I'm going to do is clap. You're going to do the counting. Are you ready? Here we go. Very good. I hope you practice counting by tens. Remember, when you count by tens, the number at the end is what? A zero. Remember, zero the hero came that day. So after you've practiced counting and clapping, you can take your pencil 
And now, you're not going to go all the way to 100. They didn't give us that many. But you're going to take your pencil, and just like you clapped and counted, you're going to write 10, 20, 30, 40. All right. Again, the day zero, the hero came. Zero at the end, making sure your numbers are faced the right way. Now, also on the Google Classroom, I put a, a link on there for mom and dad to show you uh, the song that we did when we're climbing the mountain, counting by 10. So we can get a little energy out also. And, and mom and dad, that's something we would do in the classroom. We would write it. We would count it. We would hear it. We would sing it. All those different ways to get that counting by 10s in our head. All right, moving down, we see again, many times we talk about this numbers before, numbers after. Um, again, boys and girls, these are by families, 50, teen, 50 again, teen and 30. Probably the tricky part, mom and dad, is sometimes when a number is at the end or beginning of a new family, maybe they have to think through that. So they shouldn't have any problem with this one, 52, it's in the 50 family. Teen, numbers in the teens, boys and girls, numbers in the teens, they start with, you should be saying one, it's in the teen family. Um, 50, this one might be just the trickiest one, and that's only because the number before 50 starts a new family. So you might have to remind them what comes before the 50 family. Boys and girls, what would that be? You should be saying the 40 family. So 40 and then 50, and again, this is something we could write out on the board. Mom and Dad, if you have a piece of scrap paper, again, they need to hear it. They need to see it. Um, but they could go through the 40 family. Boys and girls, let's count the 40 family. 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. And after the 40, fam 40 family is 50. But they might need to hear all the way through that 40 family to know 49. And then, of course, that next number, all right? So sometimes it's breaking it down, going by family is super helpful. Again, teen family, uh, numbers in the teens start with one. We say that a lot over and over again. This one is tricky because it doesn't have that teen sound. Um, and mom and dad, this is something they learned at the very beginning of the year when we did the teen family. Ten. 11, 12. Boys and girls, remember, they start with a 1, but they don't have that teen name at the end, like 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, but still in the teen family. Might need a few reminders on that. And again, 30 family. So again, a lot before, after. If you can look on um, any of those math games, those are super helpful just to get really quick. They should be getting quicker and quicker on those. And then, of course, moving down to the clock, we started this last week. We went from telling time to the hour, and we started moving that minute hand. Um, minute hand, boys and girls, if you remember, that's the long hand. The hour hand is the short hand, but remember, once we start moving this minute hand, it's going to move too. It doesn't stay still. It moves too. So don't be confused when you see that it's going to move a little. And even on my pretend clock, it does. But the important thing is to remember, we've counted by tens with our gumball machine, but now our brain's going to switch to fives. And again, we've done this a lot. You should be super good at counting by fives. We're going to move that 5, 10, 15. But you already noticed the hour hand's moving a little. 20, 25, 30. Again, look down here is my minute hand, my hour hand. It's not going to stay right there on the 3. It's 3.30. It's moved a little bit, and that's okay. But I need to remember that it's 3.30. All right? We need to be writing. We need to be practicing. Um those numbers all right if i was going to write that i would write first of all my clock was at three o'clock three the dots are on there to divide it up and i read that o'clock we've done that a lot but then when i moved it it went down to three thirty all right and then of course if i was going to stop and I'm going to show this to you on my clock. 
Another way I might be writing it would be 315. And that's when, and I think we did several of these examples last week, 3 o'clock, 5, 10, 15. Whoops, my pretend clock doesn't always want to stay. You see that? 315. I would write that 315. I'm writing the numbers just like I'm saying. And then, of course, there was my 330. All right. So, again, lots of practice uh, on those telling time. Best way to do it is using that real clock if you have one at home and practice using that. All right. Again, add them up, add them up at the bottom. So should be super quick on those. Backward, uh, check for backward numbers. Again, anything, um, just extra practice on those verbally, even if you're just sitting around and let the kids practice them in their head. And kind of a fun paper on the back, you got to circle the number word that matches how many cars. So we're going to look, we're going to count, and we're going to find, but instead of the number, boys and girls, it's number words. Again, these should be mastered if you need to practice, if they're not catching them quickly, go back and practice. Tricky word or sound it out. All the number words should be mastered again. And mom and dad, if you want to do this down here, that's fine. We're not taking any kind of, this would be a grade book page, obviously, but we're not going to be doing that. So don't worry about that. You're welcome just to go through with them. The only thing down here I noticed they put, they did quarter. Um, we really haven't talked about a quarter, so don't worry about that. We've learned dimes, pennies, and nickels, but we just haven't talked about um, a quarter. Down there where it talks about tell the value, dime, it says three dimes. If you're working on that, remember, you might need to uh, remind them, dime is how much, boys and girls? A dime is ten, and when you count dimes, you count by tens, remember? Count by nickels, you count by fives. Uh, that's why it's so important that we have these number counting down, whether we're counting by fives or tens, so that when we transfer that over to money, we have that all locked in our brain. Counting by tens and counting by fives. Go to that video that is counting by fives. That's a good movement video too, so that you can practice counting by tens and counting by fives and use that and transfer that information when you're working on your pages. All right, so if you're working on this on Tuesday morning, uh, remember Tuesday afternoon, 1 o'clock is our Zoom. Uh, and again, just a fun time to see each other. I'm excited to, to see your smiles. I sure miss you. Hopefully you're working hard for mom and dad, getting caught up on your work. We have a few more days, and then on Friday, we're going to be um, returning all that work we've been working on. Hopefully you're working on that reader, but you can keep the reader at home, um, and I'll be sending a new reader. So... If you have any questions, uh, Mom and Dad, be sure and let me know. Boys and girls, keep doing your best. Work hard, and I'll look forward to seeing your smile soon. Bye-bye.